So in the series of learning programming in C, we are discussing some programs on strings. In this video, we will talk about a program to reverse a string. We will use a standard uh, like you can say predefined function, built in function on string that is used to reverse a string and that is strrev, right. It is already declared in the header file string.h, right. But without this function also, we will write down our own uh, logic and we will, uh, you know, we are going to reverse the string. Both the things we will discuss here. Two types of, there can be multiple ways to reverse a string when you are, you know, going to write your own logic, when you are going to create your own function. We will discuss here two to three ways, right, how you can reverse a string. Although this, this is a known standard function, maybe on your compiler it will not work, maybe it will give some error like undefined reference to this string. So it's because of the compiler. It is used basically in the older version of uh, C. So, uh, we will write down the logic here first of all, we will try run the program and then I will show you practically on my laptop. So, what is this uh, reverse of a string means? See, if a string is something like this, I am taking this string and length is what? 7, having null correct, character at last. Now, reverse means what? J should be here at the place of i and i would be here at the place of j right now this a should be here and this t should be here same y would be reversed with this n n would be here and obviously this a would be as it is here right so now see what output you will get after reversing the string this should be the output i t n a y a j this is what reverse of a string this output we want right so here can be two cases like uh, the length of the string is what a 7 means odd maybe the length of the string is even number right here suppose I am uh, writing here suppose Jayanti and I am writing here 1 and at last null so here the length is 8 that is even number that is also fine now output should be what 1 with be replaced with j then a with this i so what output you will get 1 i t n a y a j this output i want right this is what reverse of a string now how to do this reverse if you use the function like first of all we are using predefined function so just take a string suppose care s1 and 30 and here i am taking uh, a j n t right so just use str rev and pass the string s1 here right first of all see what should be the prototype of, prototype of this this uh, function means what is the prototype prototype of this function uh, which is declared in string.h str rev and it is going to accept only one argument the string which you want to reverse or you can say the pointer to the string so pointer to string this string you want to reverse and what it will return pointer to the same string obviously after reversing this would be reversed string right so it will you know return pointer to the modified string so it will return pointer so when this uh, the return type of this is what pointer pointer to string right that is what a prototype of and here you can see I mean the logic whatever is written in the declaration or the definition of this function. We don't need to care about you know details here because we are directly using predefined function. It is predefined function we are directly using this function and we are directly including header file string dot h. So we are not bothering about the details here right. That's you can say beauty of functions abstraction that we will discuss because after this I am going to start functions in C. So just string reverse and pass the string and simply you can print printf the reversed string is s1 and what output you will get if you are passing jnt only then reverse it will print right here because after no no we are not see some students think that if you print from here like I am going to print from i then t then a then it is what reverse of string no you are just printing this string from here only it is not reversing of string right 
this logic you can also apply but that is not actually reversing actually reversing is what swapping of these characters here i should be there here j should be there this is what swapping i hope you know swapping i mean the logic you know how to swap two numbers right so actually this is swapping now let 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 us write down our own logic we are not uh, using this this predefined function so what you can do see two i uh, know uh, logic i'll discuss here there can be multiple ways i'm not saying that whatever i'm discussing here that is the only way you can i know reverse the string in multiple ways many logics you can apply <coughs> right so now see this is what name is s1 so we are going to reverse we are going to do what s1 of 0 we are going to reverse with s1 of index is 6 s1 of 6 right these are the index 0 to 6 fine now s1 of 1 this index this a would be reversed with swapped with this one s1 of 5 i hope you are getting s1 of 2 would be with this n s1 of 4 now see s1 of 3 would be with nothing because here a would be this a would be here only this j and i this a and t this y and n but a would be here only no need to do swapping right so no need to do swapping fine so now here what you can do if you write down the for any loop then what you can do just run the loop till here only <coughs> till means how many times loop would run 1 2 3 times only no need to run for this one right means length of this the string is what total length is 7 if we divide length by 2 then the answer would be 3.5 so ultimately the answer will take integer that is 3 so ultimately we are we are running we are running how many times the this loop 1 2 3 three times only three times only so we will run the loop till length divided by 2 not till null character because that is not our need we just have to run half and that's it right reversing would be done automatically i hope you are getting the loop would be till uh, no why the loop would be till length by 2 same here we are having uh, the length is 7 if you have 8 then also 8 by 2 that is 4 in that case till 4 we have to do reversing if suppose i am writing here jnt and k so now see the length is what 8 and the loop how many times we are do, we are we have to swap 1 2 and 3 and 4 4 times 8 divided by 2 that is 4 times Here also same seven divided by two three three point five but three but here only we want only three because this a would be at the same place only it would not be swapped with any other character, right? So now you can just write down a loop. I'm writing down a for loop. I'm going to start from zero and i less than length of the string. Suppose I'm taking l l by two. So first of all we have to find out. length how to find out length before using this l you just write down here here you can take the string char s1 30 and this and here just find out l is equal to str len s1 this function we have discussed this is predefined function to find length of a string so now after finding the length l now in l we have length is what 7 right 7 by 2 and i plus plus now you have to do swapping here see first of all uh, see that how how you can write here in general terms because obviously we cannot write as 0 as 1 something like this we have to write down in general right so here what you can write s1 of i 
I would be first 0 then 1 then 2 would be replaced with S1 of here we have 6. 6 is what length is 7? 6 you can say length minus 1. So, L minus 1 right ok if you write L minus 1 fine. But see in the next case next case I would be from 0 to 1 here we have 5. So, L minus 1 is still 6 L is 7 and minus 1 that is 6 but we want S5. So, what you can do here we have to do again minus 1 right. So, it is not like that say minus 1 because in next case we have to do length minus 1 and minus 2. So, what you can do here minus i because i value would be 0 then 1. So, you can do minus i 1 would be minus then 2 then l minus 1 minus 2 would be subtracted. So, this you can what swap this element we are going to swap si with si of length minus 1 minus i right. But we cannot directly swap this like you can write down here s1 of i is equal to s1 of length minus 1 minus i and s1 of length minus 1 minus i is equal to s1 of i. Maybe you are thinking this is swapping, but no see here if you do something like this i would be 0 here s1 of length is 7 minus 1 minus 0 that is 6. Now, s1 of 6 s1 of 6 is i i would be s1 of 0 here ok. Now, i would be here. So, now we have lost j j is no more now in this string because now j is overwritten with i. Now, you are going to place what s1 of i is 0. Now, s1 of 0 is having i only not j. So, now j would be sorry now i would be again placed here s1 of l minus i and in, at both places we will have i and i but that we do not want here i want j. So, directly you cannot swap something like this. So, what you can do first of all you can just have a you can say a backup of this j obviously we use extra hard disk to have backup of in you know whatever the data important data we have in our laptop right. So, we can just do what keep a copy of this j as a backup in any other character type of variable because this is character right. So, here what we can do first we will store suppose I am taking a variable char ch or char c or char any variable name you can take right. So, first of all in ch I am storing whatever at s1 of i the j has been stored in ch. Now, we can place this i to here. So, now what here I can write now s1 of i is equal to s1 of length minus 1 minus i ok. Now, i is here. So, we do not have j here now i is here, but j we have in a variable ch. So, from that variable ch we can assign the j where s1 of l minus 1 minus i here and that is it that is what swapping and after this you can simply print printf percentage s and string is s1 that is it that is the logic right now ok now see here we have string is jenti fine. Now we have one more uh, you know character type variable that is ch we have one we have to declare one more int uh, sorry length a variable l unsigned int you can say. So, in length we have length of s1 length is what 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 we have 7. Now, see i value is one variable we have i that is 0 before uh, using this we have to declare i also. i should be less than l minus 1 l uh, sorry l divided by 2 length is 7 7 divided by 2 3.5 it will take 3 right yeah i 0 less than 3 condition true enter. Now, in ch we have s 1 of i i 0 s 1 of 0 is j. So, j would be stored in ch. Now, in s 1 of i 0 l is what length is 7 minus 1 minus 0 that is 7 minus 1 that is 6 s 1 of 6. So, 
whatever is there in S1 of 6, in S1 of at 6th index, we have i. See, we are not reversing, we are not doing anything with null. Obviously, we don't want anything, you know, we don't want to reverse this null. At last of the string, null would be there only, right? So, now S1 of 6, that is i. Now, this would be placed S1 of 0. So, now i would be here, right? And j we have in ch because we have kept a copy of this first uh, first you know character. So, j is here. Now, whatever in this is ch that is j would be stored here that is s1 of l minus 1 minus i that is 6. So, here now it is j. Now, here i plus plus i becomes 1. 1 is less than 3 condition true enter here. Now, ch is equal to now i is 1 right. S1 of 1 is A. Now, in CH we have A. Now, L minus 1 minus I 7 minus 1 minus 1 that is 5 and that is exactly what we want. S1 of 5, S1 of at fifth location we have T. So, T would be now S1 of I value is 1. So, here we have now T. So, now whatever in the CH A that would be stored here only that would be stored at S1 of 5 that is a we are going to store here, right. Now, again i plus plus i becomes 2, 2 less than 3, yes condition true again enter here again. Now, i value is 2 at second index we have y, now it is at ch, in ch we have y. Now, length minus 1 minus i value is 2, 7 minus 3 that is s of 4. Now, at fourth index we have n, now n, n would be here at S1 of 2, right? And whatever in, in CH, Y, right? So, now in CH we have Y. So, Y would be at 7 minus 1 minus I is 2. 7 minus 3 that is 4. Here, fourth index. Here we will store Y, right? Now, I becomes 3, 3 less than 3. No condition is not true. Out of the loop, print S1. Now, S1 is what? I, T, N, A, Y, A, J and that is what reverse of JNT, right? We have not done anything with this index because obviously it would not be swapped with any anything, right? That is why loop would be till less than L by 2, not less than equal to L by 2. Yeah, if you write less than equal to L by 2, that is also fine. But it would be one more iteration and that is of no use. So, why to increase time complexity and no, this uh, time complexity of this for loop. So, I think that is reverse of the string. If you do not want like L minus 1 minus I, you are not able to find out the logic here, something like this in general term. So, what you can do? One variable I you can take to traverse the string from here, one variable J you can take to traverse the string from here. I plus plus, J minus minus and once I and J both would be same, you have to stop, right? And you can simply write down that logic. The, this thing I will show you directly, you know, practically on my laptop, right? I hope if I show you the coding here, then you can write in that program at your own, right? So, now let me show you the output of this thing. So, now let me create a file here, string reverse.c, right? Header files, then String dot h header file and we will write down the, on the main function <coughs> and in main I am going to take a string s1 and uh, here I just want the user should enter right. So, I am going to ask from the user enter string and we will use get s s1 fine. Now, find out we have to find out for first length of the string right. So, I am taking a variable we have to declare that variable first right. So, I am taking here int l and I am taking an again a variable i for the loop and uh, one more character type variable that is uh, suppose c right for swapping. It is kind of temp when we take when we, we use to swap the numbers right temporary variable it, it is 
so now just find out the length length is equal to str len and s1 right now our loop you can use any loop for while do while up to you from i i am going to start and i should be less than l divide by 2 and i plus plus right and here we are going to write down the logic for swapping so first of all c is equal to s1 of i then s1 of i equal to s1 of length minus 1 minus i right now s1 of l minus 1 minus i is equal to s1 of i right and that is it and after uh, this uh, for loop you can simply print the string and you can write down like something like this uh, reversed a string is in, you know that kind of thing I am not writing that oh kya kar rahi? S1 <coughs> I think that is it now let me run this program and it should ask enter string see it asking enter string I am entering here J E double N Y Oh, here we are getting by C, C. <laughs> we do not have to do like this mistake. See, here in S1 of I we have Y only. So, that is why it is storing Y again there. So, whatever in C, that variable, right, that we are going to store in S1 of L minus 1 minus I. We, because in C we have copy of the first variable, that is we have copy of J. That is exactly you want J at the end, right. Now, let me run this program. So, now I am entering here Jenny again and see it is printing in, revo in reverse order Jenny in, in reverse order. See if you run this again and here I am entering Jenty Khatri. So, see it is going to reverse the string right I hope you got this. So, I think that is fine but if you take like traverse from front also and from back also two loops uh, you know, two variables i and j so that also you can do let me just comment this out and i will write that code right you will write a for loop here and uh, see for one from one would be i is, should be zero two uh, you know uh, initialization i am going to do in this for loop comma and one i am taking j j is from end I am going to start j. So, j should be whatever the length minus 1 index of j right because length is 5. So, index would be 0 to 4 that is 4. So, length minus 1. Now, condition what you will put i till i less than j. Once i and j becomes equal obviously we do not have to swap. And now we have to do i plus plus as well as we have to do j minus minus j would be from and i would be from starting. So, i plus plus j would decrease and i would increase right. So, before using this j we have to declare it here like j variable and within this loop just do swapping. Same we will take a variable like we are taking c only here in c I am going to store s1 of a copy of s1 of i first right now in s1 of i we can put s1 of j the last uh, character now in s1 of j what you can put whatever you have in c like the first character and that's it and you can simply print s1 now i hope it will run let me run this enter string I am printing I am entering Jenny and see it is printing in reverse order Jenny right. Let me run this again here I am entering Jenty Khatri and it is printing Jenty Khatri in reverse order. So, this also you can write I hope you can try run this logic at your own right. So, from the next video I am going to start functions in C. So, now I will see in the next video till then bye bye take care.